There's music playing in the slaver room. A birth companion to comfort the pregnant woman. Kis liye bithaya aapko malum hai? Hummat dene ke liye. Hummat dene ke liye. Curtains to ensure her privacy. A government hospital with a difference that is implementing respectful maternity care. Most public and private hospitals in the country, including some of the best known ones, present a stark contrast. Listen in on the experiences of mothers who recently had their deliveries at government hospitals. सरकारी में सब कुछ फ्री हो जाता है तो हम लोग तभी जाते हैं कि हम सरकारी में जाएंगे डॉक्टर से वो ऐसे बिहेव करते हैं बट उनकी जो लैंग्वेज इतनी वर्गर होती है हाँ जी बताइए क्या करने आए हो प्यार से बोलेंगे तभी हम वो बोलेंगे कि हाँ भी हमें ये प्रॉब्लम है उसका नाम नहीं याद गायनी का उसने बहुत बैडली ट्रीट किया था एंड शी वॉज सिंग क्या इतना मोटा शरीर है ऊपर से खांसी है ऊपर से थायराइड है ऊपर से ब्लड नहीं है नाइन ग्राम ब्लड है मैं तो नहीं तुम्हारी डिलीवरी करूँगी यहाँ से जाओ तो प्राइवेट में कोई इसलिए अच्छा लगता है क्योंकि वो हम जब भी जाओ ना वो ऐसे हमें गाइड करते हैं जैसे पता नहीं क्या चीज़ है मेरा हसबैंड प्राइवेट है वो नहीं करवा सकता है तो प्राइवेट भी फिर उन्होंने सू रजिंदरा चौहान भेज दिया सी भी इतने करवाओ जाते काफ़ी दूर काफ़ी टाइम लग गया पौने दो घंटे लग गए थे मैं पूरी दर्द सी मेरी इन्नी हालत खराब सी और कहें पानी नहीं मैं अपने हसबैंड को कहें कि मैं इन्ना पानी दे दो इन्ना पानी दे दो मैं पता है सवेर के चार बजे तो लेके तुम देखो दो बज गए जाती बैठी हुई है ना नर्स बोल रही अभी नहीं देंगे मैंने कहा क्यों क्या बात है कह रही पैसे नहीं कराओ मैंने दो सौ रुपया लिया और दिया कहनी नहीं पाँच सौ रुपया लिया फिर उस बच्ची को दिया तो असि डॉक्टर कहते जल्दी से जल्दी से उसको शीशो में रखना है बच्ची को कमजोर है मशीन में डालना है हमने सरकारी हॉस्पिटल डॉक्टर तो छुट्टी में थे हम गए रात को तो जो मुझे दर्द हुआ तो वो कहते वो ले जाओ भी यहाँ पे नहीं डॉक्टर छुट्टी पे है तो फिर हम उन्होंने कहा फिर हम वहाँ पे गए उन्होंने कहा भी पानी की थाली भी फट चुकी है और नाड़ू बच्चे का बिचकार में है फिर उन्होंने हमें रेफर कर दिया बत्तीस में हम बत्तीस में गए फिर बत्तीस में इसकी डिलीवरी हुई वहाँ पे कुछ ऐसा था कि जैसे तीन सौ चार सौ के करीब पेशेंट्स होते थे तो एक ही डॉक्टर बैठा है बीपी के लिए आपको मतलब लाइन लंबी इतनी इतनी इस कंडीशन में इतनी बुरी हालत हो जाती थी कि खड़े रहो मतलब जब इतने ज़्यादा पेशेंट्स आपको पता है कि गवर्नमेंट में आते हैं ठीक है सभी आते हैं छोटे बड़े लोग सब आते हैं ठीक है एक ही बी पी से आप सबको चेक कर रहे हो ठीक है कोई बाहर इतना हरास हो रहा है इतने खड़े हैं तो मतलब वो अपनी बातें गपशप में लगे हैं चाय पी रहे हैं इतनी रूडली बिहेव कर रहे हैं वो मेरे को बिल्कुल अच्छा नहीं लगा these voices find resonance with women in different geographic locations in the country women define respectful care as an indicator of quality of care they talk of availability and access of cleanliness and hygiene take for instance denial of care caused by lack of infrastructure like beds this room has two mothers and two babies on each bed प्रॉब्लम तो है मैम देखो जैसे मैं लेटना चाह रही हूँ मुझे लेटने की स्पेस नहीं मिल रही है बिकॉज उनका भी बेबी है उन्होंने भी करना है इसलिए प्रॉब्लम है इवन कि पीछे मैं अगर बैग अपनी लगाना चाह रही हूँ वो भी नहीं लगा पा रही प्रॉब्लम तो अनकंफर्टेबल तो दोनों ही हो रहे हैं एक्सपर्ट से नेगेटिव एक्सपीरियंसिस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू फेयर एंड डिस्ट्रस्ट ऑफ हेल्थ फेसिलिटीज लीडिंग टू अंडर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ हेल्थ केयर सर्विसेज While the number of women who deliver at government hospitals has registered an increase in the last 10 years, 
there has not been a proportionate decline in maternal and newborn deaths. The maternal mortality rate has reduced to 167 for every 1 lakh live births, but it is still over twice the target of 70 set to be achieved under the Sustainable Development Goals. Sustained efforts are necessary to bridge the gap. चुपचाप थी ठीक ही थी हम वो ही है कि जो चुपचाप रहेगा उन्हीं को संभालते हैं वो आप चुपचाप थे मैं तो चुपचाप ही थी ना चुपचाप नहीं होते बस उनको तो वो डांटते हैं फिर Ensuring respect and dignity is becoming a critical indicator of quality in maternal health care but few health care providers are sensitized about its importance it could impact the pregnant woman's decision to return to the public facilities Many cannot afford the exorbitant costs in the private facilities and opt for home delivery. A majority of healthcare providers, including doctors, view respectful maternity care as an esoteric concept. There are very few studies conducted on the subject. There are very few platforms for women to express their voices about their experience during pregnancy. In the meantime, we see normalization of disrespect and abuse in maternity care across private and public health systems. Women face subtle discrimination, even overt violence like being slapped and abused during labor. Many doctors and nurses continue the controversial and wrong technique of fundal pressure or manual pressure to the uppermost part of the uterus to practically force the baby out. Here the staff have climbed the labor table to push on the abdomen. It could lead to perineal lacerations and urinary problems. Independent studies in Punjab, Orissa and Assam released this month have found that mistreatment during childbirth across facilities is widely prevalent. We were able to see why this disrespect is happening, why it is happening, why it is happening, and what we can do to them. And because there is an observation that why is this disrespect in the Asian or Indian setting? The studies have identified seven categories of disrespect and abuse that violate the universal rights of childbearing women. They include abandonment or denial of care, non-dignified care, non-consented care, non-confidential care, physical abuse, detention or demand for payment, discrimination, there is still some sort of discriminatory behavior, discriminatory attitude towards people who come from poor backgrounds or who are uneducated or who don't immediately understand what uh, is being said to them. Um, there is still uh, a problem of leaving the patient in the delivery room by herself. Uh, there is still a problem of not allowing birth companions inside. There is still a problem of uh, rough physical handling. According to the White Ribbon Alliance, a network of maternal health advocates, there should be zero tolerance for disrespect and abuse in any kind of facility. In order to uh, make uh, respectful care standardized, uh, we need to work at multiple levels. I think the first thing that we need to do is to, we need to talk to providers. We need to understand how do we create an enabling environment where the providers can actually provide respectful care. I think we should not undermine this necessity. I think the second thing is we need to focus more on paying enough attention to the needs of the women. And I think the third and very important thing is how do we really include women, their families and the communities in trying to ensure that service uptake is better, service availability is better. The government says it is ensuring improvements in the experience of childbirth in labor rooms and operation theaters across the country. The objective is to provide respectful maternity care. The government has recently launched Laksha program, which is basically you know, focused on uh, immediate uh, uh, you know, intrapartum care as well as uh, immediate postpartum care. So here what we have uh, done is that you know, this Lancet paper had come earlier we showed that you know if you if you give quality of care at birth you can reduce 46% maternal mortality and you know 40% neonatal mortality including stillbirth and already uh, you know seven states we have done state orientation 
and 250 facilities have been projected to where, where this program will be rolled out. We are taking, you know, medical colleges, district hospital and FRU or first referral unit in the first stage. We have a checklist which will be run and then we have our parameters on which the, uh, the uh, you know, facility will be uh, uh, basically evaluated. We have already allowed birth companion to, to, to the woman in, uh, in labor room. Uh, we have also now we have also shared standardization of uh, you know labor room designs which we have shared with these states coming up after the break a unique hospital committed to respectful maternity care <laughs>